Well, this decision to separate from the royal family, I think, has been very much misunderstood. They're not completely separating. They're stepping back from roles as senior royals, which means that they will continue to support the Queen, but not as intensely or vigorously with international tours and trips as they've done in the past. They've wanted to carve out their own role, specifically doing charity and lessening their, let's say, surety and security on the generosity of Her Majesty the Queen and the Prince of Wales. So with that being said, we all know throughout history that Prince Harry, had he have been given the chance to just leave the royal family at one point, he would have. And with Meghan really wanting to keep a low profile, this is something that's not unexpected at all. We were actually expecting something like this, but just not so soon in the relationship, uh, having only been married, what, not even two years at this point. So it really is a sort of shock to everyone. But even more so that if the reports are true, that they did not alert the Queen before they made the statement, it's uh, very unconventional, very much like the couple themselves. In the statement they released, they spoke about a financial independence. What would a financial independence look like for the Sussexes? Well, the Sussex right now, they take money, of course, from uh, the Crown Estate in certain ways, but also Prince Charles through the Duchy of Cornwall. So to be financially independent would mean not to expect to receive any more family money. And I think uh, very poignantly with setting up the new foundation, with registering as they have, clothing, lines, and all of these other things, I think we're going to see the Duke and Duchess of Sussex try to capitalize uh, on their name in the Americas using a lot of different sort of categories to do so. But with that being said, the alleviation of the burden to the royal family would be great. And um, the, the royal household, I think, would also be able to redirect that money to other things. Late in last year, Prince Charles, it was reported that he made it clear that he wanted to strip back the roles of the royal family to a smaller number. Is this movement in line with Prince Charles's idea? Yes, yes, of course. This is definitely in accordance with what the future of the British monarchy is going to be. Prince Harry is not going to be a future monarch. In 2012, we saw him appear on the balcony with his brother, with Prince Charles, and also the Queen, because at that point, that was the slim line, the trim royal family. But now, as we've had Prince George being born and another generation of, of monarchs to come, this is very much the future. The Cambridge family is the future, which, unfortunately, uh, the Sussexes are not ever going to be. And if something catastrophic happens, they will not be in a position to assume the crown. Now, finally, there's been reports today about some discord among the royal family, that this was sprung upon them. Will Meghan and Harry be able to exit the family or exit their responsibilities as swiftly as it was presented in Instagram? Or will the establishment of the royal family sort of uh, delay the process at all? Well, when we look at the split that's occurring and what's happening, uh, Harry and Meghan have always just liked to say, this is what we want to do and let's just do it. It's not the way. That is not the way it works in the royal family. And with the palace countering that, saying, well, we are going to discuss this, but there's several things that need to be discussed, which is a time-consuming process. You can't just leave the royal family. If you want to be completely private and leave a royal life behind, that's one thing. Uh, to take away your titles it has to be done through the Queen in the process of Parliament to do that. But we're not at that point yet. They still said they want to retain that. They want to serve the Queen in a certain capacity. I've heard this morning with different interviews that I've done that they're being perceived, the Sussexes are being perceived as hypocrites wanting to have their cake and eat it too, which nobody can have. But I don't think that's what's happening here. All the precursors that we've seen, the family has just wanted privacy. And the monarchy, the institution itself, is very much supportive of the young royals, understanding, of course, what Harry and William went through. But there's a fine line between being royal and celebrity, and the palace gets this right. The palace understands this. So when you add someone to the mix who is not royal first, but celebrity first, and those actions that we've seen the last couple of years are not curtailed, it blows up into the sort of situation we see now. How does the palace finally 
handle royal versus celebrity without putting the nose out of joint of Prince Harry, who is very popular around the world. And uh, it's a process that really needs to be handled delicately. And the palace is doing the best they can. But for the Queen to even give the notion that she didn't know and is disappointed, uh, that is troublesome right there because it's not royalty on the terms of Harry and Meghan. It's royalty on the terms of the institution, Her Majesty the Queen, and that's something that they have gotten wrong since they became married.